here today. Yo, listen. I just gotta say something off bat. Bucks just won. Giannis went down, but let's be honest. The only reason. Why? 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 Hey, guys, 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 guys! Shush! The only reason the Bucks were even in the game at the start of the game was because of Giannis, right? So, I'm just gonna go out and say this now. I get it's a hot take, okay? I get it. Listen, Bucks, they're gonna be the first team ever to come back from 03. I said it! I said it! Heat fans, you are pissed off at me. Listen. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, I think it's gonna be done. Now, this is honestly barring on Giannis being healthy and playing. Like, he has to play. Like, if I have Giannis is in play, it's not gonna happen. Giannis plays. If Giannis plays the rest of the series. The Bucks are gonna come back from 0 to 3. First team ever. I get it's a hot take. This isn't supposed to sound proper, okay? The Bucks come back from 0 to 3. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to the video today. How to complete triple threat super fast, easy, and how I completed one day. Now you can see I have one game left. Alright. I completed this last night at like 3:30 a.m. Um, the game came out on Friday. And I completed it Saturday um, at like 3.30 a.m. So it took like a day and like three hours, you know? So we completed it now. Now there's a really fast way to do this, obviously. As always, I did this last year too. And how I completed in a day is actually very, very easy. Now, obviously, how I completed a day was you have to play it all the damn time. But also, there's a fast way to do things, okay? Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. They buffed shooting, okay? They buffed shooting, so it's a lot easier to shoot now. So this method that I used, you can still use this method. It goes by really quick. You get games done really fast like that. But you can also shoot a lot if you want. So I'm going to show you both methods in one. Now, we keep it up with you guys, all right? If you're, if you're going to want to shoot, now, I still would say... If you're not the if you're not really that great with getting green releases even after the buff, I would go my first way. Okay, I'm gonna show you my second way right now. The second way is taking shooters and just going into triple threat doing that. Now again, it's still not like in this mode, triple threat offline. Okay, I didn't mean to click start there, but you're not gonna get green still like every single time. It's not like 2K20. Okay, so beware of that if you want to try the three-point shooting method first. Now I'll show you how to do it. It's super easy. You're just gonna like do one or two moves and then shoot behind the screen. Okay, it's not hard. I choose Allen. He's just my main shooter, seeing as he, for me, is the best one with green releases. Okay, now I also want to use a big man too, just because, just so you can get good screens and maximize. So now what I do on defense, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, okay? You want to, this is what I do on defense. I leave my computer open. I do this because the computer, yes, they can obviously hit shots, but they brick, okay? Now, I don't, I don't leave them open when they go to the paint. But if they're there just shooting, I want to leave them open and for them to shoot. And for whatever reason, the computer likes shooting with Giannis, but he didn't there. So go right here, all right? We're going to out and stuff the court. By the way, when you see your little, you saw that down low? See those little white triangles? When those go red, that means you're in a hot zone. So it only boosts your three-pointer, but you want to call for a screen. Hold R2, put your right stick diagonal down, okay? Put a diagonal right. You just want to keep doing this back and forth. It's not hard. You want to keep doing that back and forth behind the screen, okay? And you will get open, all right? You, I'll just show you. I just have to show you how to do the move there really quickly. You do that back and forth, computer brick, okay? You do that back and forth behind the screen, preferably in a hot zone if they have one from three, and you're going to get open. Boom, boom, boom. Now you're open. All right, now again, shooting isn't still the easiest thing on the planet in this mode. It's not insanely hard though like it was before. Okay, so now we're open again, pop around the screen. I missed again there, but you see the process of getting open and then you just chunk a three up. Obviously, if you are losing, you are gonna wanna play defense, but I'm not gonna lie, even if you still, it's, it, it's hard for the computer to beat you if you're paying any some sort of attention. You can even do a thing called a catch and shoot cheese. Now basically all this is, is literally just go over here, pass to anybody, and then go back and you're open. You see it's 17% covered and it was green. And by the way, that's a catch and shoot shot, which is easier to shoot than if you're doing the little jerk moves behind the screen, which still isn't the hardest thing on the planet. Don't get me wrong. It's not really that hard, especially with this shooting update, but catch and shoot shots are the easiest shots. And most of the time they register open. So you can just tell by the way the computer's playing you if it's going to be open or not. You see, I could have shot that right there. Again, boom. 12% covered, bro. The, the, the contest system in this game still isn't the greatest, and you can see right there, especially with catch and shoot shots. So that's just the three point method. I'm gonna back out, and I'm gonna show you the driving method of this video, which is even easier than what I've done for all 299 wins. You can do a snatch back if you want to, but I just find this one the most comfortable. You got some space. They do that weird fadeaway sometimes, you just pull a shot. 
okay? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, I would appreciate if you liked the video. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes so this can get out to more people that needs help with this because, you know what I'm saying, your boy completed it. I'm trying to help you guys out too, all right? Subscribe if you're new. We're super close to 80K. We're nearing up on 100K. Let's try to hit it before the end of the year. Down to 100K before 2021. Now, that was the shooting way. I did not do that way just because shooting even that still isn't super consistent. If it was consistent, like last year, that's a different story. You go down the court, snatch back, green every time. Even though it's still better now, it's still not consistent to the point where you're greening every single time down the court. So I don't know if it's arguable that it's even more faster because of how many times you're gonna miss. For this next method, you're gonna wanna have a dominant big man, all right? A big man, this doesn't mean by tired. You just need a big man with either back down punisher on bronze and drop stepper, okay? You want at least those bags on bronze on your big man. Next player, your small forward. All right, go small forward, boom, use bronze, okay? We're gonna use a bronze player there that lowers the player, that lowers the players you're gonna play against, all right? Next, I use Allen Iverson, but you're gonna wanna use a Ruby or Blow again. So to load the overall players you're gonna play, and you wanna use one that's fast and can dunk. If they can't dunk, it is all right. You don't need somebody that can dunk for this method, but it would help a ton. My player that I use is the starter, Allen Iverson. You just want somebody, again, a point guard that's fast and that can dunk. It can be a shooting guard, but point guards are like the fast players in the game right now. So if you get one, a Westbrook's a great example. Darren Fox wouldn't be bad for this at all. John Wall. There's multiple players you can get for this exact play style. Now you see, because of this, we're playing, and that's what my I'm using Amethyst AD. I know you guys all, all have Amethyst AD. That's why I said if you can just get one big man with drop stepper and back down punisher on, on bronze, I think a song Whiteside has it, that would be great. All right? So I'm going to show you two ways of this method. It's super duper easy. And again, on defense, you're just going to leave them open. Unless it's like a tie game and it's like 2020, then don't leave them open. But you're just going to leave them open. Listen, that's all you're going to do. Since you're playing lower tire cards too, you're going to be way faster than them. So all you have to do is run down the middle. Literally, that is literally all you have to do, fam, is just run down the middle. Now, you can see the way which the computer's kind of sliding slash guarding towards to. So, if that way, you just kind of, not zigzag, but you just kind of want to slither your player. So, look, yeah, I can see he's playing a little bit to the right, so we're going to go to the left a little bit. You see? Just that little change of direction to the left a little bit. He's going to have free space to the lane, okay? Now, it is possible you can play good defensive players, too. And you're not going to get past them every single time. So I'm going to show you right here what to do if you don't get past them every single time. All right, the next method. So let's say, for example, right? You get the ball back or whatever. You, you get a rebound. They score. And let's say the computer boxes it, right? What you want to do this is why you want to have a big man with drop step, all right? Now, say if, if another person guarding you isn't a big man and they don't have good post defense every single time down the court, you can just back them down, back them down, back them down, and then drop step them to get a bucket but for example Ibaka is actually it's rare that you play against this because it's all three random players but Ibaka is not a bad post defender so he's I can't just drop step him every single time for it to work so if you're playing somebody who's actually a good post defender you can't just drop step every time the easiest way guys to do this is you call for a screen you go around the screen with your big man and they switch every single time they switch every single time so now look I got Devin Booker on me and uh, yeah, it's a drop step. And by the way, drop steps work every single time. The animation is broke. I've said this before, drop steps are broke. For players that don't have good post defense or if they're smaller than you, you can drop step them every single time and it works. So if you don't get right past them with Allen Iverson going up the court, you can literally just drop step them. So again, I don't get, I don't get, I, I don't get the advantage on Schroeder there. All right, just going down the court, I got Devin Booker on me. And look, back him down, drop step, boom. Sometimes you only have to drop step up, but you see what I'm saying here. It's a bucket, let it every single time, and it takes all but two to five seconds to do. The running with the court could take like two seconds. The, the drop set could take like five to 10 seconds. It's super quick. And you don't even play defense, so in turn, you're just getting the ball back faster. You see what I'm saying? The last strat I have here is if you want to try to maximize to the complete capability, you want to go here. You want to sag off the player on the wing, let them shoot manually. He made it there, but manually control Allen Iverson after the player shoots and run down the court so you're on the other end already for a layup. Perfect example right here to show you guys, all right? They got the ball, I just scored. What we're gonna do here is Kanker, Mr. Kanker himself, we're gonna leave Devin Booker wide open, all right? We leave Devin Booker wide open, dare him to shoot the card. Is not, this obviously is an Opal Booker, so we leave him open. And you saw how I, you saw that? You saw how I manually controlled Allen Iverson right after he shot it. I R1 to X, I icon to Allen Iverson, I just ran down the floor. That's because they're gonna miss more times than they make because these aren't godly cards. And by that, you're gonna have a wide open lane. Again, we have a wide open lane down the court. So that just makes it even easier. So when you're leaving that computer open, make sure R1X or R1 to whatever icon that player you're running down the court with is. 
and you get a free layup. So it's even quicker. The reason why I'm telling you guys this, it's obviously to complete it fast, but just maximize your time. Maximize your time to the fullest, so you're not wasting time. So because nobody wants to sit, nobody actually wants to sit here and play the computer, obviously. So maximize your time as much as you can. That's pretty much it, guys. I got a lot of questions on it, like I said yesterday, on how to score. Now this was before the shooting update today. Even if, I, I still feel like some people would have questions just because shooting is better, but it's not 1 million percent easy like it was last year and in 2K19 especially. So we're just going to end the game down here. Let's go. You see that? We got went down the court. Easy dunk down Iverson. Last part, I just wanted to show you because I just want to show like getting the 300 wins on video. I thought it'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It's super easy. We're going down the court here and we got a lob to my boy AD. Yes, sir. We got a lob to my boy AD. Let's go. That's it guys. That's game. That was my 300th win by the way like I showed at the start. Like and subscribe for more. I'll catch y'all later boys. If you want to stream, tell me in the comments. Catch y'all later. I live in a constant state of fear and misery. Yeah.